You're Dr. David Banner. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. I want your story. You're almost describing an animal. I'm describing the creature's primal state, which takes over whenever there are moments of great anger. How would you like to shoot some film of the Hulk? The six o'clock news. Physician, scientist, searching for a way to tap into the hidden strengths that all humans have. Then an accidental overdose of gamma radiation alters his body chemistry. And now when David Banner grows angry or outraged, a startling metamorphosis occurs. creature is driven by rage and pursued by an investigative reporter. Mr. McGee, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. The creature is wanted for a murder he didn't commit. David Banner is believed to be dead. And he must let the world think that he is dead until he can find a way to control the raging spirit that dwells within him. Lunch, everybody. Fletcher, we have to share this closet till they finish remodeling, so could you please refrain from polluting our air? Oh, stop yelling. Have you ever heard of noise pollution? I think it's worse than my smoking. Fletcher! Nothing is worse than your smoking, except maybe my spending $500 to quit smoking. McGee, they've stopped hammering. You can quit screaming. I am... Not screaming. You know, I think I can like this job. If I can only get used to the mental cruelty. Oh, Fletcher, why don't you just be quiet and finish your story? What do you got this week? The hidden diseases in your rug. Sounds like a shoe in for the Pulitzer. Oh, stop sniping just because your Hulk has disappeared. He didn't disappear. Just hasn't been seen for a couple of months. Yeah, it's hard to see something that's not there. Fletcher, you just do your story, let me do mine, okay? Yeah, my story, my story. <laughs> Roberts knows what I can do. I'm 46 years old, I'm on probation. Say, uh, have you got a match? Uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I, uh, Hate to break up the flow of creative genius, but I need to talk with you, Jack. Thank you. Come on. Now, what is he? My punishment for exceeding last month's expense account? How did you guess? How long till I'm rid of him? Maybe sooner than you think, unless he gets his act together. 
Steinhauer's not sure he can still cut it. You know, he's putting a lot of pressure on Fletcher to produce and fast, so you quit worrying about him. Have I got an assignment for you? Oh, Mark. Quintuplets were born last night on the South Side. Now, that's the kind of story the Register does best. It's timely. Timely. It has heart. heart. Mark. You really want me to drop the Hulk for five ankle biters whose only distinction is that they're born in volume? <laughs> Precisely. Well, give me a break. Wait a minute, if you want, I'll just tell Steinhauer that you're too busy. No, 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 it's all right. But you have got to promise you'll let me loose the minute they sight the Hulk again. And you'll have the scoop of the decade in the New York Times begging for your byline. Believe me, Mark, the Hulk story is going to pay off some of these days. Some of these days, some of these days. What about now, huh? Right now, I'm going to buy you a lunch, okay? That sounds good. Okay. Let's go. Hello? Call for McGee. Is he there? No, he's not here. Tell her to call back. It's collect. Long distance. Operator, wait a minute. She says it's urgent. What does she want? She claims she saw the Hulk. Does she sound like a kook? Not compared to some of the crazies who call. All right, I'll accept the charges. Go ahead, ma'am. Thank you kindly, Operator. Uh, hello, this is Jack McGee. Mr. McGee, we've never met, but I'm a big fan of yours. Um, calling to tell you that I think I've seen this, um, a Hulk you write about. Hey, where are you calling from? Atlanta, Georgia. All right. Um, what's your name? Verdugo. Miss Stella Verdugo. And your address? 4251 Wayflower Avenue, apartment 3C. Listen, Miss Verdugo, I'm going to catch the next plane to Atlanta. I'm waiting, Mr. McGee. Bye-bye. Goodbye. I just don't understand how you couldn't have seen something. You were the only man out here. What makes a hole that size that nobody sees or hears? And what am I gonna tell Mr. Fishman? Why don't you just tell him the truth? Tell him you don't know. Butler, I'm so sure sorry you'll leave. You're a good worker. Hope it's got nothing to do with this mess. Well, this mess is partly my responsibility to help clean up. Better get to it, huh? 